So you're probably wondering what in the world is going on with the Z4 Coupe and the BMW E30 that I recently got. And so in this video I want to address everything that I've done to it so far and kind of what's been going on since my last video. So I'll tell you what happened to the Z4. <laughs> It's kind of a kind of a funny story because it's actually related to that one time that the window regulator broke on the passenger window. If you guys remember, my passenger window regulator broke, and uh, now that's fixed, it works and everything's fine. But the uh, what caused the problem to the Z4 is there's a little seal under the molding and there was a very small leak and somehow the water actually got into the cabin through here and pretty much got uh, this whole area wet but there is a there's a sensor cluster it's called right under the passenger seat like right there and so it took on a little bit of water and it actually short circuited so <clears throat> when I would turn on the car I would get three lights, the brake light, tire pressure sensor light, and the traction control light all went on at the same time. And I had no idea what the issue was, so I got the codes read, found out that the, uh, the main thing was kind of all led to the sensor cluster, pulled it out of the car, then I replaced it actually with uh, a sensor cluster from an E46 which uh, seemed to fix all the problems except I still have a yellow brake light and that's because the rollback assist is actually broken or I guess they didn't have it on the E46 so obviously it won't work on the Z4 now so I need to find the exact part number that fits the Z4 uh, I can live with not having the rollback assist obviously it doesn't really matter but um yeah just a weird interesting little Thing that went wrong with the Z4 but it's all good now. Now on to the E30. <laughs> this thing was uh, had quite the issue. Basically I have a video and I'll throw the video on on the screen. So here's the video of the car uh, yeah, idling. So as you could see from the video, the car had a very rough idle and would stall a lot of times. So I knew it was a fuel related problem. I thought at first it was the fuel pump, turns out it wasn't the fuel pump. Then I thought it was the fuel pressure regulator, which is there. Then I was like, maybe it's the injectors, I don't know. Um, originally I thought it was a vacuum leak, which I still may have a vacuum leak. Then I thought it was the idle control valve, wasn't that. <laughs> And it all turns out that it was a C191 plug, which is right in there. If you're wondering what my C191 plug looked like on the E30, here is the C191. So there it is. So basically, I opened up the cap, or whatever this thing is, to the C191, and found out that the wires were almost completely corroded off, and um, that's an issue, and uh, that's the reason why the E30 wouldn't start, is because the C191 actually deals with sending power to the fuel injectors, and it also, uh, I think it either moderates or, you know, sends information about the cooling and coolant, among other things. Um, so that's pr a pretty big problem. Now it's running, uh, and... It's kind of been weird since the fix, but I'm uh, kind of looking into it and testing it out, seeing what works best. Other than that though, uh, despite all these problems with both the Z4 and the E30, everything else has been running very well. So in this video, I kind of want to talk about what to expect from the channel from now on since uh, it has been a while since my last video. So for the channel, I hope to make a lot more uh, cinematic videos like the one that I just uploaded uh, it was called blowback um, so I plan to make a lot more of those if I can um, either the Z4 or the E30 and I also want to do some other people's cars in the area um, so hopefully I'll be able to showcase a bunch of cool cars I also have a quite a few other uh, more like vlog style videos that I have planned 
uh, to make for the channel. I have a little bit more time on my hands now, so hopefully I'll be able to stay stay up to date on my uploads. Uh, it was a little rough. I was getting pretty busy, so uh, hopefully I'll be more consistent now. Also, for those of you who are from the East Coast, um, no Bimmerfest East this year. Very disappointed about that. And a lot of the car shows are actually getting canceled that I usually go to, so I'm going to be trying to find some new car shows to get to. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload some videos on that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.